Good afternoon, guys. It's Bama Mobs here, and it's the final week of Alabama high school football. As always, focusing on Class 6A. This is week number 10. The season ends, and some schools will be playing basketball, and some schools will start prepping for the first round of Alabama high school playoffs. So uh, tomorrow night, uh, which will be Thursday, I dare say 90% of the teams in Alabama will go ahead and play out their games. Um, coaching philosophy, I imagine, is either A, you know, we give all your players that whole weekend off, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know, give them an extra rest day, get football off their mind a little bit, come back, get ready for a playoff run, or B, another set of coaches, yeah, they're just going to coach, I mean, he just has another day of practice, and they'll say, all right, all right, I'm, you know, I'm going to run these kids, or not practice, but, you know, even mentally watch the field. They ain't gonna give their their mind no break, and we're just gonna run them but anyway. <clears throat> that's my thoughts on that. But in Region Seven uh, tomorrow, uh, Jasper goes to Lawrence County, non-region game, of course. But all these games tomorrow are non-region, and you know both these teams are playing a class below them, or maybe a class is even. Uh, really, no rivalry games at all. Um, and that's the reason they play on Thursday night, in my perspective. I hate to say it like this, yeah, let's just get it over with. You know, either next week you play in basketball or next week we'll start prepping on the playoffs and just give an extra day for whatever you're doing. <clears throat> um, and then looking on to next week, so you have all the round one state playoff games being played. Um, I know Coleman goes to Parker. Parker is the region champion in region seven, excuse me, region five. Region seven is matching up with region five, the uh, first couple of rounds of state playoffs. Um, I don't know how Minor and Gardendale ended up, but Muscle Shoals is region seven champion. So they're gonna play Minor and Gardendale, and then Hartsville number two is gonna play whoever, Minor or Gardendale. That's how that, those four teams are gonna match up. Uh, Athens will travel to Homewood, Alabama. Homewood has a solid team. Athens has a solid team also, but their games against uh, Muscle Shoals and Hartsell really were not close. I thought they would be a, a lot closer, maybe even Athens beat Hartsell. Uh, Athens easily beat Jasper earlier in the season. I mean, the score is like 35-0 at halftime, but Jasper did have some critical mistakes and sort of helped them pad the score a little bit. Um, so I actually want to take Homewood over Athens because Athens just has not won the big games this season. They haven't proven they can do that. Um, Homewood you know, did get beat by Parker by two touchdowns in their uh, region championship game. But yeah, Parker's loaded. A lot of team speed. Uh, just a, a tough team to play. <clears throat> so uh, that's why I'm going to look at it. So uh, Parker will beat Coleman. Uh, and uh, Homewood will beat Athens. So then the next week, you're going to have uh, Muscle Shoals Hartsell matching up with uh, Parker Homewood in round two. So that's my thoughts on that. I want to end up the video. <clears throat> I'm looking for a little bit of, of a poll here. Somebody comment down below. Give me your thoughts. You know what you think. But I think the uh, Super 7 has lived its course. And we all know it's a uh, money-making machine. Uh, that's what it's all about. I'm sorry. No, that's my personal opinion. And uh, we're coming up next year will be 25 years of the Super 7. I know it was the Super 6 initially. You know, they'll be too critical on the comments there. But <clears throat> what I don't like about it is that they play at Alabama, Auburn, even Protective Stadium in Birmingham, which holds 47,000 people. And it's just a cavernous. Uh, each Super 7 I've been to, you know, especially with the smaller teams, you know, it's almost like an exhibition game. You know, I don't really get the vibe of the intensity, the, the fan involvement, you know, at those games. Don't get me wrong, the, the fans are into it. But I guess... Uh, yeah, you just don't get that that sound, that vibration that you would get at a smaller high 
high school stadium. Uh, but, but, uh, Seat seat of a, a lot of people being there. Now, if you had a 3 8 football stadium, you got 5,000 people. You no, know, it's standing room only. It's packed. You no, know, it's loud. It's bustling in there. You know, you're smelling the hot dogs, smelling the cheeseburgers. You know, it didn't take you five hours to get there. It didn't take you a long time to park. You know, if you're the home team, okay. If you look at the state championship, North versus South, I get it. But I'd just rather have the games go back to the high schools. Now, if you was a smaller school, a 1A school, well, I can see yeah, maybe you playing the county over in a, uh, a 6A stadium. You know, I can see that. Or even just in your county, whatever the bigger school was. Now, that's my only thing with the uh, Super 7. You know, I think they'll do a great job, you know, with the trophies and everything. Uh, but it's just ridiculous to make uh, teams play at 11 in the morning. And I dare say even at 2.30, which is sort of okay because it's closer to your regular practice time. But, yeah, the morning games, I, I just don't like it. So leave some comments down below. Know what your thoughts are, especially guys that's played in the state championship games at the Super Six, Super Seven. You know, as far as your experience, and I know it was a great one because obviously you was in the state championship game. But would you have rather played at your home stadium or at a high school venue uh, rather than the travel and the dynamics of going to a, a hundred thousand seat stadium? And seemingly, no one is there to watch the game. It, get, it does get crazy sometimes. I mean, think about it. Especially 3A and below. I mean, you could bring the entire population of both cities. And still, it's like no one is there when you're at Alabama or Auburn. So I beat that horse to death. So that's my two cents. And But every state championship I went to at a high school stadium in the past. Yeah, atmosphere is over the top. It is electric. The crowds are right on top of the stadiums. At least your old school stadiums. Now all these schools that built the new ones with the track around them, I just hate that with a passion. Being the traditional high school football guy. You know, look at Cairo Gambrell Field in Jasper, Alabama. Now, that's a football stadium. I mean, great views of the game. I mean, perfect level on those hills on both sides. And you're right on top. Cordova, Alabama. The pit. Yeah, now that stadium is a small school, legit stadium there. <clears throat> and they just keep improving that thing. Yeah, state championship there, yeah, it's standing room only. No, you're just you're just like packed in on that one. But uh, yes, my thoughts on the whole state playoff system. I will end the video talking about this. There's too many teams in the state playoffs. There's no need to play the last games in December. Even though I know even historically, 60s, 70s, 80s, you know, it's played that last game in December. But I think we need to get uh, away from having that number four team in the regions go to the state playoffs because nine times out of ten they're getting beat on that travel to play the number one team in the other region like a, for example Coleman is going to Parker <clears throat> Parker has a ton of team speed uh, one of the top defenses in the state number two offense in the state and, uh, and Coleman does not have a lot of team speed just to be frank about it so we already know what the outcome of the game is. I mean, it's just not going to, it's just not going to happen. And you can go down the line, looking at all the matchups, these number ones, and number fours, and I don't put myself out on a limb here. I'll, I'll say maybe two teams out of all classes will be the region champion in the other class. So I will go. I will give you that. Two teams, and that's it. Now, back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 
you know, you had area play. So, you'd have three or four teams in the area, and they finally got rid of that because, man, all you had to do was, like, win two games in your state playoffs. Now you got teams that are one and nine, two and eight. Definitely losing records. You know, making the state playoffs. And then in a more competitive region, you'd have a team that was like nine and one and not make it. And that's a travesty. So I have to give the Alabama Association some props because in the year 2000, you know, finally, they went to region play. So the records were not as bad, but still, the number four team, I think it's really a pointless game for a number one to play number four. Um, if there's a Cinderella story out there, I'm not aware of it. You know, please let me know. Tell me about a number four that even went to the third round of the state playoffs. I'll listen to you. Just leave a comment down below. <clears throat> but, yeah, personally, I think the uh, region champions should get a bye. Go from there. And the uh, high school state championships should... Uh, be finished Thanksgiving week and the game should be played at the high schools just like they were in the past old fashioned maybe but yeah I think uh, even the coaches I bet even the coaches would like that better so but I know any of the coaches want to comment on this unless they're retired or quit one <laughs> so we'll see if there's any coaches respond to this video Anyway, all right. I, I had all that on my chest. I got it off. Um, we'll be interested in uh, reading any comments on this. Maybe it'll create a, a little bit of constructive debate. That's the purpose of this. Um, and I think the Alabama Association is still going to make money. You know, even having this, the uh, playoffs at the schools, uh, as far as vendors and sales... I think you'll still be the same. I mean, you're going to sell your T-shirts and other stuff at the games. You know, everybody wants mementos. And then you, I think you have more of a captive audience. I mean, you're going to have people that's really interested in that game at that high school stadium uh, versus just a lot of general fans, you know, walking around the stadium that is just there to watch it because they live in Tuscaloosa, Auburn, or Birmingham. Um, so ultimately, yeah, you know, whatever is, you know, more fun for the coaches, kids, communities, I mean, that's where it should lie. Instead of dictating, okay, all seven teams, these 14 teams will have to come to Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Auburn, wherever else, and all these games will have to be played here in three days, and I'm so sorry for your three state champions because y'all have to play at 11 o'clock in the morning, which is ridiculous. Really, it's ridiculous. <clears throat> All right, now I've got it off my chest. Anyway, y'all have a great Thursday tomorrow night, whatever high school stadium you're going to. It's the last game of the season. You know, don't go in there all hyped up. You know, have fun at the games. You know, seniors, it's not going to the state playoffs. Hope you have a great game tomorrow night. Have a lot of fun. You know, play light sounds. You know, to try to take one to the house, you know, if you can. You know, if you're fielding punts, fielding kick returns, kickoffs, hey, whatever. If you're at the one-yard line, go ahead and field it and see if you take it back 99. That'll be something to talk about. All right, that's it, guys. See y'all later. State playoffs next week.